Namaste and welcome from Dhananjay Kumar. This is another video episode on the topic non-violence. This is in our effort to reach great minds, what they have taught us and sometimes we have forgotten. So these series of videos are a reminder to bring back to you closer to great minds through great quotes. The first quotation on non-violence, and of course I should say that non-violence is everyone's favorite subject. We all talk about it. If you ask anybody, any survey, do you like peace or war? Do you like non-violence or violence? Everyone, I'll be surprised if that is not the case. Everyone will say, I love peace, I love non-violence. I want to live that way and the whole world should live that way. But it's paradoxical. Everyone wants peace, but we don't live in peace. So let us explore this subject. The first quotation is by Mahatma Gandhi. Non-violence and truth cannot be written into a constitution. They have to be part of one's own free will. They must sit naturally upon us, like next to kin garments, or else they become contradiction in terms. So the contradiction in terms is that we want peace. Peace, peace is part of our own free will, but somehow there is a distortion or there is a pollution in the free will that causes us to be not at peace. So that is the contradiction. We want peace, but we are not at peace. We have not seen any constitution where it is written that thou shall live in peace. There will not be violence. It's not written anywhere. It's not even suggested. So non-violence and truth cannot be written into a constitution. They have to be part of our own free will. We should choose to be peaceful. We should choose to be non-violence. It is not that we must be told to be non-violence and thereafter we will be. That is, does, does not happen that way. They must sit naturally upon us like next to kin garments or else they become contradiction in terms. It's quotation by Martin Luther King Jr. The choice today is no longer between violence and non-violence. It is either non-violence or non-existence. That's a very strong statement but sounds so true. So the choice is not between violence and non-violence. Because violence, as you know, today or any other day in our history, somewhere in the world there is or there are conflicts, wars, or planning for wars. So either we are planning for war or at war, at all times, throughout history. Still, we say we have a choice between violence and non-violence. We should be naturally choosing, not even choosing, our nature should be non-violence. Instead of posing this question, violence versus non-violence. That is, should not be the question. Because the second part of this quotation is a danger sign. Our choice is either non-violence or non-existence. Because as more dangerous destructive weapons exist and many, many more in number every day. And 
at any time unknown to us if there is a war, a real global conflict that would lead to non-existence of humanity or near non-existence of humanity. So we should rather adhere to this caution and wake up in time. The choice today is no longer between violence and non-violence. It is either non-violence or non-existence. The last quotation is also by Mahatma Gandhi. Again, a very timely and important caution. The principle of non-violence necessitates complete abstention from exploitation in any form because he is nailing down the cause of conflict is exploitation. Someone or some group is exploiting other, another group and that group eventually would oppose it, rise against it and ready to fight with you for their right, their share. So if we are more uh, compassionate, more loving, more kind to one another, nobody will feel, no group will feel abandoned or discriminated against and the sense of goodwill and harmony will prevail in society. So that is a very important message. Let's adopt it and live with it, live by it. Thank you for watching and listening. We'll meet again soon.